So we've installed the new, new main bearing caps. They shorted us two sleeves, so number seven is actually still not installed but because we're waiting for the two new sleeves to come. But we'll, we can do that later, no big deal. So then over here, we're, we're prepping the pistons for installation. New connecting rod bearings. Jake's already got them lubed up. Now, because this, what happened with this engine is that the reason why it was removed and replaced was because it went into a ditch and sucked in some water into the oil and the engine ended up running with water in the oil for, well, let's just say longer than it should have. Um, so it burnt up all the crank bearings and, and the connecting rod bearings. But the pistons themselves, because the oil was so thick and sludgy, it clogged up the piston cooling nozzles. And if you know anything about diesels, what happens when the piston cooling nozzle is not spraying is that the bottom of the piston gets, it gets too hot and it swells out. So these skirts right here, they swell out and then they start chafing on the cylinder wall. And that's what happened on this engine, which is why it was diagnosed as being remove and replace because these engines are they don't have line they don't have replaceable piston liners they're they're a solid dry block so once the cylinder wall is damaged then you either have to pull it all apart and machine it or in, in the case in which we did was i found a recon engine for cheap they didn't want the core i bought the the recon engine and swapped it out and that's why we have this core here to play with long story short what i did was i ball honed the cylinders just to take out that little bit of chafing that was on the cylinder and the pistons are actually perfectly fine and you can see that there's no damage to the piston at all even though it chafed the cylinder wall a little bit it was probably right on the bottom edge of this piston where you can't really see it so we're going to reuse the pistons there's only 70,000 kilometers on this engine so we're going to be replacing the connecting rod bearings, the crank bearings, the cam bearings, but we're going to reuse everything else because it's perfectly fine. So it should be good. And so with the 6.7 Cummins ISB build, we're almost ready to send it out. Just bolting on the last little details, air compressor, front timing cover, little things like that. But yeah, if you know anybody that wants to buy this, it's going to be a good stout engine. So hit us up at EliteTruckRepairs at gmail.com if you want to buy this engine, or if you know anybody that does. We're willing to let it go pretty cheap, but email us for a price if you want to talk about it. Okay, we got, we got the radiator pack off which includes all of the shit that touches the front of the engine. Now to remove the fan. Easiest way to remove a fan hub with an air hammer. There you go. Now we we'll just Spin it a few times until she comes off. It's getting close. And there she comes. Okay, so we got the engine torn apart. All the liners are out, the pistons are out. You see the crankshaft down there. Cam followers looking good. Here are the broken pistons and liners. As you can see, number one 
has some pretty good scoring. Number two looks okay. Number three, not so much. Number four, five, and six aren't too bad. But number three and number one are definitely toast. And you can also see there, broken liner o-ring. And that what was causing that is what was causing coolant to go into the engine oil. The rest of them don't look broke. Turbo injectors valve train. We're gonna send the injectors out to the injector the fuel injection shop and have them refurbish the injectors. The head has already been sent out. All right, so the new piston liners are in. Just checking the protrusion, exactly four thou, which is the spec. So we're just assembling the pistons at the moment. The wrist pins, swapping over the connecting rods. We're putting the rings on pretty quick. Old piston, uh, kind of screwed up. She's in pretty rough shape. That's what it looks like when a piston starts welding itself to the cylinder. You can see there's metal transfer. Eventually that would have completely taken out the cylinder. This piston would have turned into a ball of scrap metal eventually if they didn't stop and get it rebuilt when they did. All right, so we got the head on. Torquing the head bolts. Coming along nicely.